And and the last point before we close now the call, uh, because yeah. I have the discussion yesterday, and uh, Shannon, uh, welcome. So if you listen to this later, so um, I, I will talk to to the community about this also now. Okay, so the problem is most of the time that traders have no target. So what 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 is your target as a trader? How much you want earn today? Realistic, based maybe on the last one year average profit or last month average profit. So maybe your target is as a beginner 100 US dollars. If you hit your profit target with the 100 US dollars, take it and leave it and close the close everything. And I will say to you, if you be here. If you be here and you was making your 100 US dollar, close the trade. It make no sense because most of the time, if you have one good trade and it feels like, man, this was so easy, trading is so easy, perfect. Now I now I can become a millionaire. If the mind is telling you something like this, I will promise you. You see now that this is so easy to trade. We get a strong momentum, but here you will lose 300 US dollars. This has happened so often. If you be in a good position, if you have so so good win, and if you're not closing your uh, your desk, then you will most of the time lose something. Yesterday, yeah. I was posting uh, my statement uh, from my trade. I was making huge profit. I will not talk about this, but I was on 150k profit. This was simple and easy. I was outside. Stupid, my, my desk was open and I see that the market came down. I add again, make 90K profits. So I was on 240. And I think, wow, in one minute I make 90K. What a crazy move. And I feel great and I feel like a champion. And then I add again on the short position. Holy shit, I have an open loss from 100K. I was not close to this because I was comfortable. I was saying, okay, pfft. Then I will lose my profit, fine. But this was so much heart attack. This was so much shit going on. My my mind goes crazy. But I was calm. I was good. I find this was good. But this is the lesson. I I should close this earlier. Then I have not the stress. Because as a trader, we have a second life. We have family. We have kids. We have free time. We have friends. We have I don't know whatever. <laughs> I will not name it. So. But enjoy your life. If you was making your profit, enjoy your life. And that's it. Close it. We trade always for tomorrow. And tomorrow will come. Tomorrow you have a new opportunity. Yeah. And don't don't get FOMO. So this is one of the big lessons uh, what I can give you also. If you was um, target your profit like 100 US dollars and, and it's hit, go and leave the desk. And then don't look anymore to the chart. Come back tomorrow in the morning and then you can say, oh, nice. This was a great move. But now we start again. Let's make 100 US dollar again. And if you feel FOMO and you say, okay, the 100 US dollars is maybe too less, become 10% better. Make the challenge, become 10% better every single day. We start on 100 US dollar. Now we say, okay, risk reward. 50, yeah? Okay, 50, 1, 2, 2. So you make 100 US dollars, your risk is 50 US dollars. Then we say, now you make 110 US dollars by risking maximum 40 US dollars. If you hit this, perfect. If you was not hitting your stop loss, perfect. The challenge next day will be harder. Now we add again 10% and we reduce from the risk also 10%. And this will become your challenge. And then you feel proud that you was making process and if you think like okay now i'm i'm scaled 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent and now i reach my limit then you know exactly where you have to work on where you can become better as a trader most of the time we as traders we have no idea where we can improve for this reason take the challenge 10 percent go 10 percent from your daily target higher and reduce 10 percent from your risk, and then you—I I will swear—you—you—you you, you will touch, uh, you will touch something, maybe your risk because it's so tiny, or 
the, the profit again, and then you can improve. But if you touch the loss, then you can say, okay, what I was doing wrong because all the days it was so nice and so clean. And then you can improve and can take out the learning. Yeah. But, and that's but, where, and, that, and quickly I was going to say, and that's where the real edge is in trading. The real edge is not in some algorithm strategy. It's in the mindset of being consistent and staying consistent for a long period of time with that, with, with, with your risk parameters and your risk reward, because the reward is bonus, but the edge is not the reward. The edge is just staying consistent and having that disciplined mindset. That's the edge, right? Like some people think like the edge is with some backtesting strategy. No, not with the backtesting. Okay, sure. We might see a similar setup like this with a similar type of news coming in, but you really think that we're going to have similar price action now than we would have month from now or next quarter, or next year. It's always different. The market's always evolving, always, always changing with volatility, with candlesticks or whatnot. And with levels, with exposure, it's always changing every day, every week. You're never going to see the same exact same setup ever. So that's not your edge is, is that is trying to backtest that setup. Your edge is for testing your mindset and staying consistent and on the same level all across the board. So that's that, that's what I think, honestly. And that's that's what will put myself over handling my margin. Patrick as well. Of course, Patrick has a lot of experience here. So he's 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 had it all. He's had all, had all sorts of experience, whether it come from stocks, features, FX, everything, right? So it, over time it becomes with experience and staying consistent with your experience. Because if you're if you're staying volatile with your experience and you have a good trading day, then you blow up and you have to restart and you use less margin and you, and use less um, buying power, then you know you always put yourself back like 10, 10 steps. Put yourself back one step and forward 20 steps consistently. So it's that, that that's all it is. And it's the freedom, like he was saying, you have the second, third life, create that freedom for yourself. Don't be like those JP Morgan, Citibank guys that trade on the desk for 10 hours, then do analysis for another 10 hours, right? 